A class. How you guys doing? All right, let's look at repetition, shall we? Okay, what is repetition? Repetition is a principle of design that dictates the harmony of any given composition will be increased and improved if the design elements are used repetitively. Meaning that if you have specific design elements, use them more than once. This helps create consistency. This helps also create what we call visual harmony by increasing the consistency associated with visual elements used as supporting elements in any given composition. Okay, so uh, repetition can be simply um, the consistent use, use of um, width margin widths, um, consistency can, can be, cons, I'm sorry, uh, repetition can be the consistent use of a type uh, typeface style and size in, let's say, the, the headlines or subheads. Um, repetition can be a consistent use of a grid from page to page to page in a multi-page uh, uh, document. And repetition can also be the repetition of individual visual elements within a page. So repetition occurs many times in, in design, um, both, both in multi-page and in a single composition and also in many instances within a single composition. We've got typographic repetition, we've got um, compositional repetition, etc. Okay, so basically it ties together otherwise separate visual components in a design. Now you've heard me say this before, you'll hear me say this again, repetition. If you have something on a page, it's a great rule of thumb to, to lock in while you are learning the principles of repetition. Basically, it's this. If you have a design element on your page that you're using only once, either get rid of it or use it repetitively. Okay, so in our example, in the page example, we can see repetition over here is created by this wonderful use of these circular elements that are, are radiating from a central axis um, indicated by the typography. No, we've got wonderful contrast, we've got wonderful emphasis, we've got wonderful alignment, and now we're looking at wonderful repetition of these curved elements. Okay, now it's, it's, it's important to note at this point, this is created by on a grid. It's not only created on a vertical and horizontal grid, but there's also a circular grid associated with this page as well. So as we can see, things are starting to lock together. And I think that that's really important as we study uh, alignment and repetition this week. And this week, uh, the light bulb is going to go off for a lot of students. I promise you, I promise you. Up until now, I think students are going, okay, but how do I remember that I have to use contrast to emphasize? And how does how do I know that I, I have to balance this page and how does contrast in balance and a lot of questions a lot of confusion we're throwing a lot at you during this week i promise you since the, the, the light bulb is going to go off when you start looking at repetition and alignment uh, in conjunction with the other principles we studied in in last week and the week before uh, contrast emphasis and balance you're going to start saying oh, wow these really do work together and the neat thing is they are able to work as single standing as individual elements and they're also able to work in in conjunction with one another to create a, a system that's based on principles okay so uh, repetition um oh what i was going to say is that general realizing if there was like let's say just a small red circle right up here right now, in terms of repetition, if it was only used once, it's like, okay, what's that doing there? It's, it looks like an anomaly because it is. So either remove it or work it in logically into the concept and the visual demeanor of the piece by repeating that item in other areas of the page. Okay, uh, strength and visual organization makes design seem more unified, more planned out, more cohesive, and of course, more harmonious. Repeating visual elements doesn't mean they need to be identical. So of course, if you have a circular element you're using on a page, this is a circular uh, concept, right? So if you have a, a adding circles to this, it, they don't have to be, so you don't have to, you have a red circle right here or even a white circle right here. And to repeat that doesn't mean you have to use the exact same size and you can just place another different size. It's the concept we're after, not the uh, rep exact repetition of the execution. Um, okay, repetition, uh, multi-page document, consistent typeface, type style. I talked about this at the beginning of the lecture. Okay, different ways to set up margin, consistent, mar um, different ways to set up 
repetition, consistent margins, consistent color, consistent grids, consistent folios. Folios, by the way, are page numbers, the way that they're organized, a consistent typeface and type style. Okay, so you can see that if I have the same headline in a four page brochure and I have 15 different head areas, if I'm using the same type treatment and the same uh, type style for each headline, that's creating repetition, which is creating visual harmony. Okay, uh, repetition, unity, and gestalt. So the eye seeks unity. All right, now gestalt principles are some of the most fascinating things you will ever study in your life and especially gets gestalt is a a series of psychological principles that allow us to organize things that we see that psychological um principles are translated into graphic design to to understand how we organize things on a page it's fascinating stuff i'm going to show you a great um resource for that but basically gestalt is saying the whole is greater than the sum of its parts so what we see in the overall ad outweighs what we see in little individual elements do you see what i'm saying that's why a lot of times we have to look at ads and we have to kind of dissect them to look at the principles of design because why because we have to look for them because the the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts so we look at the whole of an ad before we start looking at the individual parts um repetition also creates comfort because in as humans we're looking we look for patterns we always look for patterns in in it, it creates comfort for us all animals look for patterns um think about a watering hole all right think about uh, location of food we're looking for patterns a lot of visual principles result are strictly resulted on um survival so you think about the, the 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 repetition of finding local watering holes or whatever for animals so all and what i'm trying to say here is all animals seek repetition we seek repetition it creates comfort for us visual repetition in a composition is something that creates comfort um now i want to talk about this Th these are basically these are some of the uh, principles of gestalt okay so let's go real quick figure ground distinguish the element from from their background so think of um a, a white think of that arrow in a, in a fedex so you, you that is is isolating figure ground so the arrow that negative space is is ground where figure would be the positive space the letters okay so we can look at figure ground as we can look at figure as the positive and ground is the negative proximity things are grouped by spatial distance and that distance depends on the relationship of those those elements closure we tend to close or complete form so if you have a word that's missing a letter we can often figure out what that word is by using the process of closure continuation and that's what those leading lines that the grid creates continuation so a line is in a line a, a, an element is in alignment with another alignment that's continuation okay and then similarity is that visual elements are often similar in size shape and color and they're perceived as part of a group now let's jump over to the course announcement and i want to show you this ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, right here and we did look at this design how to design using a grid as we talked about alignment so i just want to reinforce and when repetition is use of the grid so here's this wonderful little lecture about use of the grid in this this um tutorial but what i'm after is this right right here exploring gestalt and graphic design take a look at this link here guys i'm telling you right now this is some of the most fascinating stuff you will ever ever look at especially when you start relating it to graphic design you're going to start going wow this is really intense stuff. I promise I'm telling you, telling you the truth. So be sure to look at that. Okay, so um, that wraps up the lecture. Let's take a look at the, the textbook real quick. We'll just go through and take a look at some important principles. Um, repetition, guys, creates harmony, right? Here's a, here's a good example. Number of simple visual elements to unify the design. We're looking at grid right here so I, this is this is uh, how the grid relates to gestalt now, i want you to notice something here um i want you to notice this grid right Rep repetitive elements i you know i, I was going to i was going to talk a little bit about the grid but i covered that enough in in the last so i'm going to hold off on that um 
more gestalt this is more gestalt stuff right here really good stuff guys great lecture please go through this in conjunction with uh that resource i left in the announcement here's some rep uh some repetition examples take a look at those the the, the chapter in the book is pretty good this is a really excellent example of, of repetition based on something that is near and dear to all of us and that is our resumes Okay, good alignment, good repetition, good proximity, good emphasis, good contrast, right? So we're starting to see how this stuff all fits together. Note the alignment, the proximity, the repetition, contrast, emphasis. Okay, see how it's all starting to come together, right, guys? Okay, so uh, again, the, the, the book is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go through too much here. This uh, advanced page analysis stuff is really, really, a, it's another great way. The, this is nice because the examples on the left here is not necessarily a bad example, but just a couple of things here. We can really, really improve uh, design with, with some of these basic basic principles. And then, of course, we've got the quiz and some exercises. So be sure to take a look at that. Next week, we'll jump into the use of color and the principle of flow. All right, guys. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say color. I meant the use of images and um, the principle of flow. All right. Fantastic, guys. Um, any questions at all, comments, concerns, any clarifications, please let me know. I'll be glad to provide anything in that regard. Welcome, guys. I'll see you in class. Thank you.